Hello from Iridimi. Iridimi is one of the three camps that is clustered around the area of Iriba in eastern Chad. It is home to about 17,000 refugees, making it the largest camp we've visited so far. The refugees are mostly Sagawa, but some are Arfur and others Dolak, but they are all from Darfur, Sudan. Chris and I spent two days here, focusing mostly on children's trauma and the interventions by organizations like CCF that help with the healing process. We also got a little chance to play. I am uh, Jonas Coenfo. I am from Cameroon. Here in uh, Chad, uh, I am uh, CCF Youth and Education Coordinator. Uh, so we are in charge of uh, refugee children in the camp. We are helping them in their problem, in, in their issue. We we have uh, drama and drawings as uh, as as main means of helping children, especially the drawing. Initially, it was violence. It was just like helicopters, guns, people dying. They used to draw uh, to draw bombs guns and the uh, fire you see an helicopter with bombs on the on houses you can see on the on those pictures how the the express uh, the how the janjaweed has uh, killed their brothers and sisters even here you see helicopters helicopters and this is the very expressive pictures you see. so all these kids had all these pictures with them which was put on paper you know just to show how traumatized they are with the violence that went on in the fall what, what percent of children were making these kinds of drawings was it all of the children was it uh, a small group of children? At the beginning, we can say that uh, about 75% of the children has this, had this problem. In the camps, we have created a child-friendly species which help children to, to be recreate, to play, to be involved in such games that can help them to forget what happened in Darfur. Uh, this is a child friendly species uh, in, zone, uh, in zone 2, Iridimi camp. We can discover the, the children playing and dancing. And uh, in each friend, child friendly spaces, we have uh, two volunteers which help us to, to follow up activities. And uh, those people are singing, dancing, our traditional dance. The most popular sport in Darfur? Football. Soccer. I got to show some of my moves and fans came out from everywhere. Sports and play are used as a form of therapy and the children love it. Chris jumped into the volleyball game. Another activity is for the children to make their own toys. But after some time, 
the pictures started changing and right now as I speak they are now drawing people, beautiful faces, UN and NGO cars with flags passing, you know, nature, forest, they are drawing now real pictures that you feel there has been some changes amongst these children. The, their mind, in their mind they are thinking of the daily life, the house, normal life, the tree, the fish, you see, there's no bomb again. The flower, flies, and so on. Monk, uh, donkey, you see, those are, these are the drawings. That, uh, that is because of that uh, our psychosocial support.